Welcome everyone to 7 Minutes or Less, talking about the shows you love and want to get into. Today we are going to be talking about The Expanse Season 1. Stick to the end of the video and give me a comment as to what you think of this show. If it's something that you love, like, or dislike, I would love to know by the end. With that said, let's dive into this. The Expanse Season 1 is a show I'd like to call one of those pure science fiction shows. Everything is well realized. Ideologies, philosophies, and a way of life is portrayed between people and cultures. Everything feels authentic by the level of care and treatment that goes into the story set far into the future. There are three large factions of power. United Nations of Earth, Martian Congressional Republic on Mars, and the OPA, Outer Planets Alliance. Between them, they all struggle to be heard, struggle for control, and struggle for independence. Within this power struggle are main characters who fall victim to it as an insidious plot bruise. A missing woman, Julie Mao, is sought after by Joe Miller, a detective who slowly becomes interested in what Julie Mao was a part of. Then there's a crew of misfits led by James Holden, who is thrusted upon incident after incident as a conspiracy grows between ships targeted and destroyed. Lastly, Christian, a United Nations executive, seeks the truth by any means necessary, trying to understand what insidious plans Belters, Martians, and Earthers have toward one another. Between these stories, you can see the production value in each frame. The sets looked lived in. The extras to the main cast all sell their roles with the highest regards I can give them. If anything, it's really something else to watch such care go into a show like this. I was reluctant to get into the show because I didn't want to get into a sci-fi show with this much history. I felt that I would be confused for a while and not understand what was going on. And sure as anything else, watching the first season, I was truly confused for a while. But that's not to say I didn't catch up and figure things out. It took me all ten episodes, but I eventually got it. I walked into the show and I knew nothing. I didn't know what I was going to be getting myself into, I didn't know what I was about, didn't know who was in it, minus Thomas Jane, but it wasn't clear how much he was going to be in the show. I anticipated many different things, however, as I watched and I believed there was going to be specific languages, ways of life, a new culture brought in about the small screen that would mirror something similar to our real world. And it's definitely there. My journey into The Expanse has already given me favorite characters. Thomas Jane as Joe Miller was definitely a given. Saray Agadashlu is another who is the United Nations executive, Christian, which is the character's name. And I have been a big fan of her work since 24 season 4. There are more to mention, but I can tell you Amos Burton, played by Wes Chatham, is one I'll be watching very closely in the very coming seasons. He's definitely one of those characters that I can favor but question at the same time. Watching this show was a tough pill to swallow. I don't mean that in a negative way, but mostly in a way that means that there was a lot to process here. Between characters and what they are trying to do, who they meet and what they are part of, go along the lines of the past each character carries with them surrounded by a world lived in that is constantly showing you the wonders and dangers in each scene. It's absolutely incredible but a lot to take in. Eventually, by the end of the 10 episodes, I was finally on board. Took me a bit, but I was there. I am excited to see what's next for season two, and this is where I'd like to pass the torch off to you. What did you think of season one? Are you interested? Let me know. With all that said, I'm gonna give The Expanse season one a solid B. All right, so The Expanse Season 1. Have you seen it? Let me know in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this, you know what to do. Like, comment, share, and above all else, subscribe. And if you're feeling generous, that notification bell will let you know when I post my next review. With all that said, I hope you all have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time.